everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today we're going to be going over the blood flow of the heart. In many nursing classes such as anatomy and physiology, pathophysiology, uh, medical surgical nursing, all these nursing classes you have to take, you're expected to know how the blood flows through the heart. And many times on an exam you'll be given a blank sheet of the heart and you'll have to fill in each blank. Or um, you'll be given questions and it'll test your knowledge on how you truly understand how the blood flows through the heart. So here I've tried to make it as easy as possible to learn the blood flow of the heart. I've researched many mnemonics people use, um, different techniques that they use, but what I've learned and from personal experience, you just have to understand what the heart looks like and how the blood actually flows through it. It, that's the best way because there's so many steps of where the blood flows through a mnemonic really doesn't help because it's so long and it just doesn't make sense I haven't found a mnemonic yet that makes sense so what I want to do I broke it down into I've split the heart in half we have the right side and the left side and um, there's 12 parts to each side there's 12 parts total and the right side has six parts and the left part has six parts so I think that this has made it a lot easier in how to understand the blood flow of the heart. Now when you get done watching this video, go to our website registerednursern.com and there's a quiz you can take to test your knowledge on how well you grasp the blood flow of the heart. Also there's NCLEX quizzes, dosage and calculation quizzes, ABG quizzes, a lot of quizzes to help you along in nursing school. So let's get started. First what I want to do is I'm just going to go over the anatomy of the heart because you have to understand how the heart is laid out in order to understand how the blood flow is. So let's go and take a look at the heart. We have split the heart into two sides. You have the right side and the left side. What we're going to do is just go over the anatomy of the heart. Here we have the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. This drains blood into your right atrium. You have your tricuspid valve right here which lets blood into the ventricle. This is your right ventricle. Then blood shoots up through the pulmonary artery because it has to get through the lungs. And in order to get to the pulmonary artery, you have the pulmonary valve. This is the pulmonary artery right here, which is sending unoxygenated blood to the lungs so it can get some oxygen. Then it enters back in through the pulmonary veins. Right here are your pulmonary veins. Once it hits the pulmonary veins, it's going to go into your left atrium, shot through the um, bicuspid valve, which is also known as the mitral valve or the atrioventricular valve. That really confused me because I would hear people talking about a mitral valve, a tricuspid valve, and I was like, which one's which? How many valves are there? So um, the bicuspid has three different names. It's bicuspid, either mitral, or um, atrioventricular. So keep that in mind because you might hear physicians or your teachers refer to it as different names. So that is your bicuspid valve. Um, below the tricuspid valve is your left ventricle. Uh, the blood will shoot up because it wants to get through the, to the aorta. The aorta will send it up through the body. And this is your aortic valve. And it shoots up through the aorta right here and goes up through the body. So that's the anatomy of the heart. Okay, next we're going to go over, um, I'm going to show you how I've split up the right side and left side and go over that and then we'll go through the blood flow of the heart again. Okay, now since we went through the quick anatomy of the heart, let's break it down and see how the blood actually flows through the heart and gets to the body. Like I said, in order to memorize the blood flow of the heart, you really just got to understand and formulate it in your head how it works. It's, the heart is such an awesome muscle, and how it delivers um, blood through the body is really cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to break it down, try to give you some things to remember. And whenever you take your test, a lot of people, what they like to do is draw a little heart with lungs and then just label each part of the heart. So that can help you. So first, let's get started. Okay, as we said in our anatomy demonstration, we have the... The blood will enter into the body through the superior and inferior vena cava. This is blood that your body has already used. There's no oxygen in it. It has very low, to, low amount of oxygen in it. And it's coming to your heart so it can be filtered through the lungs to get some more oxygen to get back through the body. So everything's draining into your superior and inferior vena cava. And notice it is blue. That means it's unoxygenated. We have the right side and the left side. Hence why this is in blue and then this is in red. 
Everything that goes in will be unoxygenated. Then it'll go into the right atrium. Okay, that's your atrium. Then, once the blood's in the atrium, it's going to be shot into the right ventricle. But in order to get through the right ventricle, it has to go through the tricuspid valve. There's two important valves you want to remember in blood flow. You have the tricuspid or the bicuspid. An easy way to remember that, because we're starting on the right side of the heart, you, um, your tricuspid valve is first and then your bicuspid. So remember this saying, always try it before you buy it. Whenever we buy stuff, we always want to try it out before we buy it. So your tricuspid valve is first, and it's on the right side. So shoots through the tricuspid valve, which opens and closes, shoots it down into the right ventricle. Our, the mission of the blood is to get to the lungs on the right side. So we're going to go through the pulmonary part of the heart. Remember, lung and pulmonary. Pulmonary means lungs. So in order for this right side blood to get through to the lungs, it's got to go through the pulmonary part of the heart. So it goes through the pulmonary valve, which opens and closes and allows blood to go up through the pulmonary artery. So you have the pulmonary valve, shoots up through the pulmonary artery, then it goes and is filtered through the lungs. After the blood attaches and gets some oxygen, it's going to shoot back through the heart because this Part, its goal on the left side is to get to the body. The right side wanted to get some oxygen in the lungs. That was the right side's goal. The left side's goal is to get to the body because it has oxygen in it and it wants to feed the brain and feed our extremities and our organs. So it enters in through the pulmonary vein. Okay. Once it hits the pulmonary vein, it's going to go into the left atrium. A lot of people get confused on um, the atriums and the ventricles. They want to say that the ventricles are on top and the atriums are on bottom. Try to remember in the alphabet, A is before V. So A's are always going to be on top of the V's because it's before V. So atriums are always on top of ventricles. Enters in into your atrium and then it has to get down to the ventricles. In order for the blood to get down, it has to cross through a valve. Okay, And this is your bicuspid valve. Remember, try before you buy. We're on the left side of the heart, so it goes through your bicuspid valve. And also, just as a side note, bicuspid valve is known as mitral valve. It's also called the atrioventricular valve. So just remember that because some people like to use those interchangeably. Once it hits your bicuspid valve, it's going to go down into the left ventricle. Remember, the goal of the blood on the left side is to get to the body. So, in order, after the ventricle contracts, it's going to shoot up through the aortic valve because it has to go up through the aorta. Remember that the aorta is a nice, big artery that's wanting to shoot blood up through the body. So, in order to do that, it has to go through the aortic valve, then up through the aorta, which goes to your brain and goes through your body. So, that is... I think an easy way to remember blood flow of the heart, remember it ha the blood has to go through 12 different areas. You have the right side, always start with the right side, and then it ends up into the left side. There's six parts on the right side and six parts on the left side, which give you a total of 12. Also, always remember that your atriums are always above your ventricles. You can remember that by A is before V. And another part that people get confused on are your tricuspid and bicuspid valve. Remember, you always start on the right side when you're trying to go through blood flow. And you're going to try before you buy. So your tricuspid valve is on the right side. And on the left side is your bicuspid valve. So that is some information on how the blood flows through the heart. Um, remember, go take the quiz on our website, registernursern.com. Go there and on the homepage, click the slider that says quizzes. And you can take that quiz and see how well you grasp the blood flow. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other uh, video tutorials. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a great day.